Hello and welcome to a little bit of something different. Meh edition. The when I saw this box, I'm gonna just say this. I thought, wow, they're really needing to clear some stock out of the old warehouse, aren't they? Twenty intercessors. Wow guys, and barely any customization. Uh, wow. Man, really do not look back at the older days when we actually had unique boxes that had a bunch of different customization and really stood out and didn't just look like well they're not dark angels or anything like that or black templars see because they have the red bands on them guys and like sometimes they have a blood drop and they don't totally look like every other intercessor i mean that is kind of the point is intercessors or well, there's another and a less nice name I could say. They just looked so damn generic. And this box set screamed, Hey, how do we sell the least amount of effort we could potentially do to clear out some of that stock? Now, that's not to say this is unique or different than stuff that Games Workshop has been doing. It's just, it's really, really blunt in that regard. At the very least, sometimes they add something new, but we're getting um, the pregnant dreadnought with claws and the heavy stutter because, of course, it has to have a heavy stutter. And I'm no, I'm calling it the wrong thing. It's a stutter, and it's a stupid design addition of hey, it is new Primaris thing. Let us add more gun to it. There, it have more gun. Ooh, better. No, stop it. It's a stupid design option. Stop doing it. So we got that. I guess that thing's been rotting away in the warehouses. And then, uh, of course, we got jumpy intercessors and runny intercessors. And they got the chain swords, guys, because they're so, so very, just, there's so much tactical depth to them. Ooh. But let's, let's get into this a little bit. Instead of me simply uh, ripping on them. They have replaced unique and interesting boxes that if you could say they were bloat, sure. You could say a lot of things, but the very least they put effort into them. Like, let's look at the old um, Def Company box for the infantry. They had unique elements to them. They were done up in such a way that they were a unique thing. They were very Blood Angels. They had all those different little design elements and helmet types and armor marks and very interesting little additions to make them feel very much part of the Blood Angels. But, you know, we're getting intercessors, so, I mean, that would take time and effort, and we're not doing that. So I'm not going to say too much about those guys or the pregnant dreadnought because yeah you've seen them i don't like their design to begin with but i'm like what well, this is just an insult to people who actually like blood angels because they're not even putting the effort in to make them look more blood angels hey guys make a unique box for these guys and have them really pop as blood angels now nah, that would take work so let's just sell it on two specially new models that'll be out in a year so, speaking of that, I'm not going to use the names, because you, you, you can probably already guess who these characters are. But uh, we got our uh, very much our interesting leader for the uh, Blood Angels, Death Company himself, the chaplain, and this lost to madness, but somehow can still make sense, and yada, yada, yada. And why you would waste a process and on a guy quite like him um, is completely a mystery to me but whatever uh, so he's gotten a new model that looks dreadful it looks lower like a uh, chaplain for the world eaters and it's great fodder for people who are willing to take the time to shave a few things off because you're gonna have one heck of an angry looking uh, religious dude but I mean it doesn't have a lot of the gravitas of the older model. Nor, honestly, in my opinion, and this is something that bothers maybe just me, but his upper legs look so 
freaking tiny. And I know this is a problem with the Primaris as a whole in the design sense is that they don't look like they have upper legs that could support the weight of their bodies, let alone the weight of the power armor. But in this case, he looks so freaking awful in that regard. Like, what the hell were they thinking? He needed to get bulked out, with, especially with that overly uh, top-heavy uh, design he's got. He doesn't have the, the straps to kind of help, um, you know, give a little bit of attention to detail. So they added those really terrible-looking... Um, rib designs on him uh he doesn't have the little uh skeletal bone design on his feet that would have been nice if anything him just having an updated version to the last one they made on primary scale would have been perfectly fine for most people i believe uh why also why is he uh wielding fangs in the opposite hand <laughs> the the backpack looks dumb but you know it's a primaris jump pack so it looks stupid to begin with and that's just because it looks stupid and top heavy um it does look like a practical thing it looks like it would literally make you uh go flying face forward into the ground but you know physics and all that i just think they should have upscaled the older model maybe added a few other little touches but he looks like a world eater to me especially with that little ball thing i can't quite tell what's in his mouth but the little uh urn kind of element to it that looks more like something you'd see with the world eaters not the blood angels it i mean it's great you just shave off the little teardrop from the top of the head there bam you could slap that on to a uh, dark apothecary or whatever you feel like <laughs> i'm being a bit of a jackass there but what in the hell is this box? It's, let's clear out the old, uh, the old storehouse. We got all this stuff. Apparently, it's just sitting around and rotting on the shelves. Uh, you know, we'll make a World Eaters update to another character that doesn't make sense. Because, go team, I guess. Um, we'll fill it with a bunch of intercessors and not make a new actual death company upgrade we'll just yeah we'll just paint them black and use a couple of these upgrade elements from the sprue kids it's not they literally the same thing you could have bought anywhere anytime it's definitely not also not going to get boring after a while and of course we have the man the myth he's kind of there and I'm going to make sure I'm saying his name, Astroff. And I'm going to call him the participation medal, or model here. He doesn't deserve any praise. Uh, designer, I'm not giving you a lick of praise for doing the bare minimum. And that's not an actual hit on the model. I like that it is a standard upgrade for the most part of the original model into some newer designs with a little bit more detail. Fantastic. But... You're selling a giant box with a crap redo of your other lad, a bunch of intercessors that we have seen for years, and a fat dreadnought that you could get uh, like a year ago or so, or even longer. This model is a participation award. You do not get praise for it. You get nothing. And... That's really what this whole box is. And this is, like, you could take this and put it to all the other boxes like this they've done. They are simply there to clear out the stock. And they're using these very particular models to try to sell it. And honestly, I just don't think it's that good. I think it's insulting. If you like Primaris, I don't care. But I still think you should get a better product than, hey... Hey guys, uh, we did literally nothing to uh, to update the Def Company, uh, uh, and and here is like twenty of these guys we've been having sit around forever, and uh, here like one decent upgrade to one of the characters for Blood Angels. Isn't that nice? Oh, and we put this World Eater in there by accident, but we're gonna sell him anyways. 
I, I think it's insulting. And I think that the problem here is it's about as low effort as most of 40K has become. It's disrespectful. The customers, it doesn't care about trying to, to make things that are going to really grab your attention. It's, hey, buy a bunch of old crap for this one new thing. And sadly, it'll probably sell out. And that's what makes me sad. But I'd say this. Even if you like the Primaris, you deserve better than this low effort bullshit. I mean, that's exactly what it is. It's bullshit. This is a company that just disrespects you right to your face. They don't care. And they're clearly not trying to, to bring things up to what they were in the early 2000s. Hell, up to 2015, we got more customizable kits, m more faithful updates, and things that really made armies and different groups feel better. Now, that didn't mean that there weren't entire lines that basically got left to languish. But if this is the effort level they're willing to go with the most popular line in their damn game, well... We can already see how little effort they're going to put to everything else. And I think that's an awfully damn shame. People should get treated better than having this kind of slop thrown right in front of them in the company going, eh, we, uh, we made some updates to some other guys. That should be good enough for you. I mean, your house has got holes in the wall, but the roof is kind of there. That's... That's what it just bothers me, and it's irritating because I'm sitting there and, and I was going to do an, a fairly long video talking about if added additive elements and subtractive elements, and one of them was going it was going to be partly on the design and addition of Primaris. Did they add anything or subtract anything from the setting? And all I can say is I feel really bad for the people who are Primaris fans. You lose out every time they do this. You get one shining star to regurgitated blander crap every other release. And I'm just I'm just sorry. They do not care about actually providing you a quality product. So that would be all for now. I'm sorry. I should have said things about the other sets, but I figured there'd be more people criticizing them. And I just, I really hate this trend. I really hate the trend that they're not even willing to put in the effort for the new stuff. That only makes me worry what we're going to see in the future as times go on. So have a fantastic day, and I hope you have a lovely week. Bye-bye.